Hello there, film folk. I'm Kieran from Film Busters, bringing you the first ever jam-packed film news update. We've been scouring the internet to find the hottest movie updates, even borderline stalking directors and producers, but I think we've just about managed to find everything you need to know. In today's show, we'll be talking about Tron, Star Wars, Human Centipede, Avengers, and much, much more. So first up, we have Fast and Furious 7, which reached the top of the box office last week by making 12.7 million in the UK alone. That makes it the second highest cinema debut of 2015 so far after Fifty Shades of Grey, which beat Furious, making 13.5 million. Cinderella came in next with its second week in the cinemas, still charming audiences to see it, making 2.9 million pounds. Now, whilst on the topic of live-action Disney films, it's been announced that there are plans for a live-action version of Pinocchio, the wooden puppet who wanted to be a real boy. This comes to light after the recent success of Cinderella. Disney are also developing other classics such as Dumbo, Mulan, as well as Beauty and the Beast. The latter has Harry Potter beauty Emma Watson down to play lead character Belle. In other news, it has been announced that Olivia Wilde and Garrett Hedlund are doubling up again for Disney's Tron 3. After directing Tron Legacy, Joseph Kaczynski is also at the helm for the latest instalment. It's a reunion all around for everyone. Now, the last one was a sequel to the not-so-popular Tron film of 1982. Thankfully, after the new movie in 2010, it's actually gotten some fans now, so keep a lookout for more on this. Now, for those of you in the UK and those who watch Coronation Street, you'll be able to appreciate this next piece of news. Michelle Keegan has landed her first feature film role in a comedy called Strange Ways Here We Come, starring opposite Shameless' Stephen Lord. The film is about Lone Shark's downfall and is going to be directed by Chris Green. What do you reckon? Do you think she'll be able to make the leap from the cobbles of Manchester to red carpet movie sets? Let us know in the comment section down below. If all you want for Christmas is Mariah Carey, your wish could be coming true soon. Apparently, pop princess Mariah has sold a pitch for a new festive film to New Line Studios. She's not the one to be left out of the limelight though, so of course, she will have a major role in the proposed film. This won't be the first time Mariah has starred in a film though. She's been in Glitter and Precious, so how will this Christmassy delight fare in comparison, we wonder? One for the boys now? I've got an update straight from outer space. All six Star Wars films from 1977's A New Hope to 2005's Revenge of the Sith will be available to digitally download and in HD also. They'll be purchasable from the likes of iTunes, Amazon, Google Play and Xbox Video. They've even chucked in some exclusive clips, behind the scenes footage and Q&As with the team behind the films. So may the force be with you. Fan of Grand Theft Auto? Well, I've got some great news for you, as a film is currently in the works for the hit game series. Before you rush into a mad panic about all the violence, however, the film will be similar to that of The Social Network, which was the, about the creation of Facebook. Grand Theft Auto will be about the creator of the game and his fight with Miami lawyers about a ban on video game violence. One such name floating around to star in the film is Daniel Radcliffe. Now, I thought the first one was disgusting and the second one wasn't that much better, that's right, The Human Centipede, the film that shook the nation with people having their mouths stitched to someone else's... Yeah, well, let's not get into that. ...is being made into a third film that will complete the trilogy. How this has happened, I have no idea, but what I do know is it will be released in May 22nd. And as if that wasn't bad enough, there's going to be a 500-person centipede in this one. Just, how do they come up with these things? Seriously. Now, Avengers Age of Ultron may be coming out in less than a month, but directors for the next two Avengers films, Avengers Infinity War Part 1 and Part 2, have been announced already. Joe and Anthony Russo will direct both films, having made their directorial debut into the Marvel Cinematic Universe with Captain America The Winter Soldier, and will both direct the follow-up film Captain America Civil War. Whilst we're on the topic of Marvel, it is necessary to mention the Merc with the Mouth. That's right, Deadpool has begun filming for its February 12th release next year. Not only have pictures of Ryan Reynolds in costume as lead character Deadpool been released, but also images have emerged from the first few days of filming. It has already been confirmed that it will serve as an origin story, but apart from that, all other info has been kept tightly under wraps. Now, for all you DC fans out there, an image of the cast of the Suicide Squad together for the first time have emerged, minus the fact that Jared Leto is not in the picture. The picture shows the likes of Will Smith, Margot Robbie, Carol Delvine, and the Suicide Squad will be released on August 5th, 2016. So that's it for week one, but thanks for sticking with me for our first short news update. Be sure to check out our longer episode next week where we'll be reviewing two big films and keep yourself updated on all the film news as it happens on our Facebook page, Film Busters Show. Until next time, guys, keep it real.
Real? Anyone? Film, film real? No? <sighs> okay, I'll think of a better one next time. Anyway, that's it all for me. Adios.